Okay, it's time for a mini series. I've been holding off recording this. Um, I'm not 100% sure why. In many ways, this is the most obvious uh, series to uh, to record. It's 75% of what we do. It's pretty much all we're about, and uh, we talk about it all day, every day. Perhaps because it's so obvious. Um, well, I'm, something's been holding me back rec recording this. I'm going to give you our six management focuses. Uh, we talk about them in our business all the time. They're ingrained in everybody's head. I'd tattoo it on their forehead if I could. Um, it elevates the running of a property portfolio from average to great, just by focusing on, on these six things. In fact, it's more than that. It's that, that margin, that difference between average and great is what makes buy to let truly work. Um, it's all the cherry on the top, the, the cream under the cherry on the top. Um, every single bit of this extra bit, that, that, that stuff that's good, drops all the way down to the bottom line. Pound shillings and pence, you make more money if you, if you concentrate on those things. You also end up with your time back. Um, if you slip into average, which by definition most landlords do, um, you don't get that extra you know, 10% on top. Um, it's the bit that makes it worthwhile. So when you hear landlords saying it doesn't work and they're moaning and you know, tenants aren't paying, they've got too much maintenance, and the council are charging me you know, fees and licensing and all those moans, it's because they haven't got this bit, bit right. Um, you also don't want to have to sweat for that extra 10%. You want it all to come relatively easily and you can. So I've got this um, six, pay, uh, six part mini series written. If you want them directly to your inbox, just hit subscribe now and they'll all come through. Um, uh, they're going to be released one a week for the next six weeks. Um, give us the thumbs up as well. That also helps the algorithms out. Um, so well, yeah, what, what, thank you. <laughs> what held, held me up or stopped me from, from uh, recording these videos? Uh, I guess the first question I had is who, whose perspective am I recording this from? Mine as a landlord, mine as a business owner, uh, yours as a landlord who self-manages maybe, maybe a landlord who um, has got another letting agency. Um, yeah, if I'm just going to list all the great things that my team does, this is a sales pitch. Um, am I even recording this for current for the landlords? Landlords, you know, you might already have our, your house with us. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a list of what we do, how and why. That might be a reminder for you. That might be good. Um, you know, that was, the, that was the first thing holding me back. The second thing was I was fearful of giving away all our secrets. These six management focuses, I don't see many other letting agencies doing them actually, uh, or doing them the way we do. And um, you know, put them all, all out there. Maybe somebody can make notes and, uh, and improve their own processes and systems. So that was probably holding me back as well. I, this stuff is valuable. Um, I also thought actually maybe this subject was a bit too dry. Um, maybe, maybe not best suited to getting loads of clicks and views on YouTube. Um, since I've started writing this and it's all scripted now, um, yeah, believe it or not, there is a script. <laughs> um, bullet points on me. Uh, it's not dry at all. In fact, actually, it's reminded me how passionate I am about this. This is what we do. This is what makes it work. It is really important. We uh, we named the company after it, ForTheLandlords.com. It's kind of the why did we call it that? You'll get the gist of why we called, called it that by the end of the six part series. Um, so honestly, I'm not sure if I've figured out exactly who um, I'm recording this for or why. Uh, I'm just going to get on with it. If you self-manage or use another letting agency, maybe this is a sales pitch. Uh, there's a link in the uh, description, discovery at forthelandlords.com. Click on it, come along to a discovery date, and maybe we will get some clients that come along and uh, yeah, join, our, join our club. Um, the team here are pretty damn amazing, so they do deserve it. Uh, giving away our secrets, is, I think that's something that uh, you know, I should never be shy about. Um, lots of people, yeah, hopefully you'll find it useful. Um, I think the majority of people will probably get the, um, the idea that by the end of all this, there's a lot of things to do, and actually having the great idea and implementing it are two different things, and you might need a team to, um, so it is becoming more of a sales pitch, you might need a team to do those things for you. And uh, yeah, like I say, far from being dry, this is the thing that I'm probably the most passionate about. Um, in fact, if there's one takeaway from this video and the six subsequent videos in the miniseries, it's going to be doing it right is the number one priority. Um, if you're not, 
the difference between average and doing it right is the bit that sep separates success from nearly. That extra bit is all the profit, the fun, the uh, the bit that you, know, you do it consistently month after month after month, year after year after year, it allows you to grow. Without it, you're constantly you know, bogged down and mired in, in problems and, and, and grief. Um, personally, I think it's essential that a landlord has a, a good letting agency and doesn't, doesn't self-manage. You, know, you might think differently. Maybe by the end of the mini-series, you don't. Um, I do get why landlords self-manage. I used to. In many ways, I still do. You know, I run the lettings business, um, or, or, or own, it, own it at least. Other people, um, I've very clearly got other people involved to run each separate bit. The six part mini series, each one of those management focuses, um, there is at least one, if not you know, five or six people sat in the chair looking after each one of those six things. I couldn't possibly do it all myself. And uh, I think that's something I had to learn. So I see why people do self-manage, but I know for a fact, I've tested it both ways, that by having a managing agency, looking after things, you will make more money. Uh, it, you know, it's one of those things that doesn't quite compute straight away, but you know, having tried it both ways, more money drops to the bottom line with or with, with than without. And of course, you get your, um, your, your, your time back as well. Um, the ability to choose the life you want to do. Maybe that's a bit, um, a bit sensationalist, I know, but you know, the life you want to lead, uh, the, the, what time you've got, what, what money you, you've got, what time you've got, and how you spend that time. Um, it's somewhere in that margin between average and, and great. So I guess you also get the, the insurance policy of knowing that everything's been done right and um, you know, you're not storing up some crazy liability. Um, that, that you don't really know about in the paperwork or some license you haven't got or some insurance you haven't got or whatever. So um, if you've been around this business long enough, um, either looking at our website or checking out these videos or speaking to any of our, our team members, you will know that we're all about having a plan, measuring it and managing it. Plan, measure, manage is one of the mantras. Again, I think that, that might be tattooed on some people's foreheads. Um, it never ceases to amaze me how powerful that is as a business tool uh, for running our business, running my property business, running your property business. Property is a funny game because in, in many ways on a on a day-to-day -day basis um, we only get problems don't we? Um, 28 days out of a month nothing happens. Two days out of a month you get a phone call, bleaky tap or can't pay the rent or whatever it is. It's very easy to focus only on, in fact, actually it's not even very easy, it's very easy not, very hard not to focus on just those two negative events, rather than saying, look at all those 28 days where nothing particularly bad or good happened other than the rent coming in, you know, it was a non-event. Um, we're quite reactive. Um, we're also the kind of business, plan, measure, manage, we're always try, trying to improve things. So the question then is, well, were they wrong before? Um, but let me just give you an indication as to um, how uh, vital this information in, the, in this six part mini series could be for you because I see this in practice two, three times a week, every week. Uh, so two, three times a week, a landlord walks through the front door, all phones or emails in of our business. They come and see us say, hi, I'm a landlord. First time we met and they're local to us. Uh, we, we operate in, look on the website, but we operate in somewhere in between, you know, put, put a pin in between Nottingham, Derby, Mansfield, we're about there. Put a pin in between Doncaster, Sheffield, Rotherham, we're about there, and over towards Hull, and also uh, Liverpool, Manchester, we're over there as well. So if you've got properties in that area, drop us a line. This could be one of you, could be you walking through the door, but yeah, two or three times, um, uh, they walk through the, t the, through, the, through the door and I'm reminded of what an excellent job our, our team do and what a real difference it makes. You know, I stand on my soapbox quite often, as long as people will let me, and say how amazing Buy to Let is. Um, and it is that amazing for me. It comes from the heart, it's true. Uh, this is my experience. Um, but the sad fact is that I could be misleading some landlords because if you were to meet these two or three landlords a week that come through our door, um, they're miserable and most landlords are getting it wrong in a few key areas, in, in my experience, you know, the ones that we see, that come, come, come to see us, um, and it makes their life miserable. 
Every now and again, they get it so wrong, it makes it an absolute nightmare. And when they walk through the door and how we deal with them and what we can do and turn around and that plan, measure, manage, what the results are, it really shows me how valuable um, what we do is, how valuable this six part mini series could be for you. So just, I wrote down three quick examples from last month. There was a landlord, had five properties. Uh, they all seem to have problem tenants, you know, patchy payment history. Um, there were there were arrears. The tenants were always complaining, mainly you know, were the issues made up or not. You know, but generally lots of complaints, lots of maintenance issues as well. Um, all threatening to report one in one or two in particular were threatening to report the, uh, the, the the landlord to the environmental health officer for not looking after the property right. Um, you couldn't quite put your finger on why or how, or the landlord certainly couldn't. Um, but the whole thing was just a bit un bit hard work and unprofitable, definitely. Um, one tenant in particular had very large arrears, was damaging the property and wouldn't leave. So that, that, that's one example. Another landlord had uh, some serious damp problems, owned a block of flats, a small block, converted, um, and all four pro uh, flats had a, a, a damp issue, some, something to sort out. There was a bill, or a quote at least, for £20,000 and the landlord couldn't afford to fix that. So this was rapidly becoming a bit of a nightmare. And, and it was a bit of a niggle, and then when we pointed out that you know, the tenant can go to the environmental health officer, and you can quickly see how a niggle can become a nightmare. So you know, that's our job to point that out. A bit uncomfortable sometimes, but we had to set up. You can't just leave this. It has to be tackled. Uh, and then the third example I picked on, and there's, there's more, but uh, I picked on three. Uh, was a tenant that was over £6,000 in arrears, uh, landlord self-managed, and there was no hope, we've been told, no hope of getting this back because everything had been tried. The landlord uh, you know, tried everything. The landlord was getting very stressed, um, uh, couldn't pay the mortgage, basically, and um, had heard well, some of our advertising out there, so come on in, take our, 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 we've got a bit of a challenge, you know, come in, sit down, we can see how we can we can make things better for you. So take take us and up us on that. So we overlay our, our six management focuses to all three of those landlords. We know what excellent looks like. We know how things should be. We've got our benchmark, if you like. Um, and we just sit down and sometimes it takes hours, sometimes it takes days to work out what the, what the issue is. But... Uh, in each one of those three three cases, so in, in the first example, we took on all the management and we contacted all the tenants. We put that 24-7, 365 day um, you know, tenant call center. There's an app, they, they, they can report things online. Um, we went through each issue systematically. Some had to be crossed off, as in they, they, they were non-existent, they were fictitious. You know, we're not changing that light bulb, that's down to you to fix. Um, yes, we're gonna fix this problem. Yes, we've got a maintenance contractor can do that. By the way, you do need to pay your rent. All these things, and it, and it took the, the, the best, part of, um, uh, best part of a month to settle all that down, but zero arrears and all issues now identified and addressed. The main point there was, because it was one of those times you couldn't quite put your finger on it, um, but the finger was just the overwhelming um, amount of issues that were. The landlord changed their mobile phone number and all everything under control now for no hassle. So that, that was number one. Uh, number two, the damp problems. Uh, we reduced the bill from about £20,000 to under £10,000 with our own contractors to do pretty much the same job. But we also then pointed out, because that was still, you know, still a lot of money, it needed to be spent, um, it's only two and a half thousand pounds per flat and there was quite a lot of work to do in there. But what we also pointed out that is if the landlord spent seven thousand pounds extra per flat, so significantly more money, um, another twenty eight thousand pounds obviously, um, could, could create another bedroom in each property and make them more valuable, more rentable, um, putting the rent up, but also the capital value of them going up. So uh, it's not an option to do them all at once because that's a significant sum, but it just so happened one of them's empty. So we can do the work there, shift the tenant around, do the work there and, and play that little uh, sol solitaire thing where you move these little squares around, there's always an empty gap. And within about a year, we should have four more valuable properties rented for more money, no problems whatsoever. And here's an interesting thing. You do the numbers and we help the landlord do those numbers. Um, the, the increase in value we can refinance uh, at a, a lower loan to value than currently bring out some capital 
So you can go and buy properties number five, six, seven, eight. That's what this landlord's going to do. And the mortgage comes down because interest rates are pretty low at the moment. So good news all round. Um, and just a nice process to be able to go through. And the last one, um, this is my favourite one really, you know, £6,000 of the arrears. It took us uh, four days to get uh, £4,000 in. And another, well, by the end of the week to get the, another £1,200 in. The rent recharged during this time, so another one uh, rent came due. We got that rent paid and the final balance. The arrears are now at zero in under three weeks. And that's a pretty, pretty typical story. We have an amazing system for um, uh, collecting arrears. Our arrears are currently under 1%. Tell a lie. Our careers uh, arrears underlying are under one percent. They're actually just just under uh, one uh, one point seven something percent at the moment because of COVID. There are a number of people on a payment plan because of COVID, but we fully expect, and that's pretty exceptional even then. But um, fully expect by the end of COVID, everything to be back to normal. But yeah, a, a normal underlying rate of under one percent. Um, uh, uh, one of our challenges is if you are out there and you have arrears. Um, Bring them in. Let, 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 let us let us take a look. Let us get that uh, income back. Um, we've got over 100% um, collection rate. We've got a uh, bit of software that will tell us how much of the rent we have collected, and it goes over 100%. And it's sort of scratch your head. How can you collect more rent than's due? We regularly take uh, a landlord's property on with arrears and collect historic arrears, pushing us over the 100%. So. Um, Landlords come in regularly, we sort them out, that's, that, that, that's the message. It could take you know, months to fix, could take um, days, months. Well, you know, the first example will take about 12 months to fix. That second last example took um, yeah, days. <laughs> you know, probably within a matter of hours of the first thing came out, we started to get money. And don't forget, this is from a, a tenant who just wouldn't pay, couldn't pay. You know, we, we've, we've got no hope of collecting that rent. So. Um, the team here are good, really, really good. They're not magicians, you know, they're not magicians. There's, uh, there's certain things, you know, we can't fix them overnight. Um, sometimes there is the, the unfortunate kind of, you've got yourself in a real pickle here and it's gonna take a while to un unwind. The important thing is once we've done it, and you must do it, once you've gone through the process, these problems should never occur again. All that moaning I hear from landlords, it's inexcusable. Um, well, you know, I haven't done this, we can't do this, this is, just none of it is acceptable. You should have things running so smoothly and so easily that none of these things become an issue in the first place. Once it's sorted, never get in that mess again. So I think this mini series is gonna be useful. Uh, it's all scripted, it's ready to go. We'll release uh, one a week. Don't forget, subscribe, so it's straight away there. If you're interested and you want us to manage your properties, go to discovery at, sorry, sorry, don't go, email discovery at for the landlords.com the uh, the link will be in the description there book onto a discovery call we can get all your questions answered um, if you just want to ask questions you can there's an email address there inspire at just ask us questions and uh, we'll, we'll reply back and, and hopefully uh, edge you closer towards uh, doing things right so um, whether you're going to continue self-managing if you're looking to join us if you're already with us, if your landlord's that's already with us, and it's, this is just a reminder, uh, I think it's going to be useful. So don't forget to subscribe and uh, give us a thumbs up and we'll definitely see you next week. Bye for now.